But first, it's important to understand exactly what ice dams are and how to prevent them. Ice dams are those buildups of ice and snow that you tend to see on some roof assemblies with large icicles that extend down from the eaves. For those who haven't seen them, this is what they look like. Now, how these ice dams form is that we have snow melt on the surface of the roof due to the heat loss from the interior, coupled with the thermal resistance of the snow that's built up on the roof. Snow is actually a decent insulator at between R1 and R2 per inch, which means that if you have a foot of snow built up on your roof, you could be adding an additional thermal resistance of R12 to R24 on top of the roof assembly, and that's more than enough to warm the surface of the shingles to cause the bottom layer of snow to melt. The water that runs down the surface of the roof comes into contact with the eaves or overhangs, which are are not part of the conditioned space and therefore are colder which causes the water to freeze at the eaves. Eventually we get a buildup of ice and snow at this location and when the ice dam melts it can actually get underneath our waterproofing materials in our roof assembly and cause leaks to form in the roof which is why you tend to see ice and water shield being specified over the roof eaves. Now keep in mind this is generally if you're building in a cold climate with a high snow load usually we're talking about a ground snow load of over 50 pounds per square foot. Vented attics do a great job at preventing this as the roof sheathing is uncoupled from the heat loss of the building. We have cold air entering the attic, keeping the temperature of the sheathing and the shingles close to outdoor conditions, and the roof venting flushes any heat from the roof assembly before it has a chance to accumulate. So what can we do to prevent ice dams in unvented conditioned attics and roofs? Well, it's simple. We build a vented roof over the conditioned roof, sometimes just called a vented over roof. This uncouples the heat loss of the building from the surface of the roof, keeping the sheathing and the roofing cold and closer to outdoor temperatures. We simply install furring strips over the roof sheathing or over the rigid insulation, providing continuous air intakes at the soffits or fascias, and vents at the top. We install an additional layer of sheathing for a fastening base, a vapor permeable underlayment, and the final roofing material. 